Hello all, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use parameters in Tableau. For that, I'm using my COVID data of United States. Data has been loaded. So there are two types of uh, two ways that we could do. I mean, there are multiple ways that we could do param that we could use parameters, but I'm going to show two types here. So first one is I'm going to drag and drop my state to columns and total number of cases to uh, rows. If you notice here, I can see only the number of total number of cases. If I want to see the total number of deaths, what I need to do is I have to do one more. I have to draw one more graph with the state and total number of deaths. So instead of avoiding that, I want to switch. I want to see whether I want to select whether I want to see the total number of deaths or total number of cases. For that, we could use parameter. For that, you could right click anywhere in the measures, create parameter, and you could call it as um, my param, let's say. And here we have all integer values. It's all whole numbers, all the deaths and cases. So it's all integer and select the list here. In the list, you would be able to see one, two. You know, these one and two are the numbers for our purpose that we are giving, that we are going to write in a code a little bit later. So whenever it is one, I want to print, I want to show all the total cases. And uh, whenever it is two, I want to show all the total deaths. You don't have to worry about uppercase, lowercase, whether that should match with the variable names here or not. This is just for our display. You could write whatever you want and then click OK. Okay, so now you got parameter created. Right click on the parameter here and then select show parameter. So here you could be able to see whether it is total cases or total deaths. Okay, so whenever you do that, your data has not been changed because we haven't linked this parameter to our graph, right? So now we have to link that by using a calculated field. For that, again, right click and create calculated field. Here, I'm going to use my calculated field name as p dot because I'm using parameter in that calculated field by cases or deaths. I'm going to create calculate field by using cases or deaths. For that, I'm going to use a switch case. If case is my parameter, sorry, my parameter, if case is parameter, then case is one, then I think we have written one is total number of cases, two is total number of deaths, right? So basically you could drag and drop the total number of cases here. Then two, then total number of deaths. And you could end the query here. So basically this is a simple switch case. If this is, we are going to use param here, the value of my params are one and two, and we are going to write the logic here, right? So um, apply and then, okay. So now we got this. So basically you have to remove all these states, and then I'm going to drag and drop the, um, my calculated field here. Now I'm seeing total number of cases here, you could be able to select deaths and you notice that the graph has been changed. The deaths in deaths in New York are 30,709 and total number of cases in New York are 386,489 cases. So this is one way to use parameters. There are multiple ways. This is one way that you could use parameters and you could even change the way that you could be able to see slider Total cases, total deaths, total cases, total deaths by using slider as well. But I think drop down list would be better here so that you could use drop down list. In the second way, you could even um, rename your file as uh, param demo one. 
And in the second sheet, you could rename it as param demo2. Um, now, our goal is to view the top five or top 10, top 20 um, cases that we are going to get. For that, we are going to directly create a parameter, select the integer. This parameter name would be um, top n cases. If you want to do for top n deaths, you could do for top n deaths as well. Um, select the list. In the list, I'm going to use one, let's say top, top five, top 10, top 20, top 25. What I want to display, maybe top five, top 10, top 20, top 25. Okay, this is just for our display purpose. You could write like a highest 5, highest 10, highest 20, highest 25. That's up to you. Okay, so then click OK. Now I'm going to use show parameter. So basically, I want to view top 5 states, top 10 states, top 20, top 25. Okay, for that I'm dragging and dropping the state to my rows. And you could see all the states here, right? So now my state is not linked with my parameter. Now we have to link by using a calculated field. Instead of that, we are using edit, you click on the drop-down list of state here, we, we use show filter. We use edit filter actually, okay? So you don't have to show filter, use filter, okay? So we are going to edit filter. There you could see top. I mean, in other videos, we have seen wildcard and condition, but in this video, we are going to see top. So by field, so we are going to select top because we have we, we wrote our parameter based on the top five, right? Or top 10. Here, by default, we have top 10. Now we have to drop down, click the drop down list here. You would be able to see all the parameters here. How many parameters we have written already? We have my param and top n cases. So I'm not going to use my param here because that's not going to do anything. Whereas here, I'm going to do use top n cases. So I'm going to use all the total cases, just the sum of all the total cases. So then click OK. So basically what's happening here is you are selecting the parameter by with the, the top, so which is automatically calculated field for you. So then click OK. So now you would be able to see top five, only top five, which are New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Illinois, and California, all in sorted order by the name. And now you are not seeing the values here of total number of cases. For that, I'm dragging and dropping the total number of cases into the text so that you get all the total number of uh, cases. Now you want to see top 20. You see all the top 20 sorted by uh, highest to lowest. Top 25, similarly, you could view top 10. Okay, and uh, you could write a one more uh, param demo 3 here by doing the uh, bottom n cases. Okay, so for that, what you need to do is you have to create a parameter, and uh, there, what you will be doing is you would be writing bottom 5, bottom 10, bottom 20, bottom 25, and then click OK. And in the in the state, you would be edit filter. And then instead of top, you would be doing bottom. And then instead of top in cases param, you would be doing bottom in cases param. Make sure you do when you submit that. Okay. So that way you would be able to see uh, there are at least two ways that you could use param parameter. And there are many other ways that uh, we will be showing that in a future uh, videos, how to use params, parameters in different ways. Okay, thank you for watching.